So we're, uh, we're on our last day of the course. We've done three days modeling. I just want to recap some of the ways we've looked at the model and some of the methods we've used to get where we've, we've got so far and recap some of those ideas. So we've worked, first of all, we've worked with the profile. And I want to remind us of the ways of measuring and looking. The, first, the main thing being that every time we look, we're trying to find something. Yeah? It's very easy just to look at the model and kind of let your hand follow the line you see. But what we want to try and do is bring a, a question to what we're looking at. So this idea of having a question, having what am I trying to find when I look at the model? How do we go about that? We find points on the model. We find identifiable points. So we've gone from this point here being the temporomandibular joint and we've measured in both distance with calipers and in lines that give us angles between other points that we can identify. So the first question, what are the points that I can identify on the model's face? That's always my first question. Because what I want to try and do is create a barcode of reference material that then I can gather those points and put them into the claim. So it's always what points can I see? And the easiest points to see when you start a portrait is the profile. They're just easier to see. And it makes a 2D structure in clay that looks very much like the model from the side. So the points are obviously going to be, when you bring a vertical line in, the furthest one away is going to be the nose tip. When you bring a, a horizontal line down, the first one's going to be here at the top of the head the back of the head and the chin and we end up with a rectangle that's a very specific shape around the model's head. And you'd work on that until it's complete and only then move on and that would be the first couple of sittings. Mm. Then you end up with this thing that's too thin and then the challenge is how do we widen it. So again we're looking for more points but this time we're looking for points in the width and we can use calipers to measure and another way I like to measure is with two little sticks so say for example I'm measuring to the corner of the orbit which is just here and I've got this as a reference point I'll take that measurement across and that measurement up and then I'll know that that point at the top of this stick is exactly in the right place. And then with a pair of calipers, I can measure across those two points. And I've got the distance between them, and I'm starting to put reference points into the plane. Mm -hmm. 